Welcome to a quick lesson on evolutionary theory of emotion. How does evolutionary theory explain emotion and what are the implications for emotion management? This perspective describes emotion as innate adaptations. In our history as humans, emotions prompted us in a direction which, in the course of evolution, is better than other solutions in recurring circumstances. Additionally, emotions and accompanying facial expressions such as sadness, anger or joy act as signals to other members of our species. One of the first biological theories of emotion was the James Lang theory. This theory posited that an exciting stimulus activates a bodily response, which then results in an emotion. Many more researchers have attempted to explain this relationship between evolution and emotion, some of which include Darwin's three principles of emotional expression, Cosmetas and Tubi's computational theory, and Cannon and Bard's thalamic theory of emotion. One of the more popular evolutionary theories of emotion is Ekman's basic emotions. This theory posits that there are six basic emotions, which are recognisable and innate in all humans. Ekman believed that these basic emotions help to mobilise the body to deal with intrapersonal and interpersonal encounters in a way that has been beneficial for our ancestors in the past. This mobilisation of the body involves cortical and subcortical brain structures. Subcortical structures include the amygdala, hippocampus and the thalamus. These structures are involved in the recognition of threatening situations, mobilising the body for action and storing memory of the event and associated emotions. Cortical structures include the ventromedial and prefrontal cortices. These are involved in integrating social and emotional meaning as well as processing punishment and reward of emotional stimuli. Application of evolutionary theory of emotion can be used in areas that deal with disorders in which individuals tend to make maladaptive appraisals of their situations and therefore activating adaptive systems at inappropriate times. Such disorders include anxiety, phobias and depression. It is suggested that mental illnesses which stem from maladaptive appraisals of everyday situations can be altered through teaching appropriate coping measures. Informing individuals on how to better interpret situations and reappraise emotional stimuli can have a great impact on how the body responds accordingly. For more information, head to the Evolutionary Theory of Emotion book chapter. Either copy and paste or click on the link. Thanks for watching.